all of us need to be appreciated need, need to be loved need to be appreciated there is no human being whether it's a little boy little girl an old grandma or a middle-aged woman or man all of us need need and deserve to be appreciated they need and they deserve to be loved some people can act like they're tough like oh you know i don't care every person with or without money rich or poor white black gay straight all of us want to be appreciated with the people who are close to us our loved ones our families our husbands our wives our children our co-workers who doesn't like to be told good job or who doesn't like to be told you look nice today or that sweater looks nice it is our responsibility to learn that whatever you tell people it is how you made them feel what did you make somebody feel what did your words make someone how did your words your actions make somebody feel did they make them feel low do they make them feel like they are nobody or did they uplift them did they give them a, a better spirit so it is going to be your responsibility to know that your actions your reaction to people will make a big difference and when you know that you know better mistakes all of us make mistakes who doesn't make mistakes we make mistakes but the biggest thing is that you learn from your mistakes and do better and say okay i did this but next time i'll do better never allow people to put you down because of your past mistakes your mistakes are your mistakes every person who is gonna walk on this planet is gonna make mistakes the difference between people move forward is that they learn from their mistakes and move on. The difference between people get depressed, anxiety and everything is because they, the people who get depression and anxiety, they were stuck. They, they just, I remember one of, um, I think it's either Jim Rohn or Zig Ziglar who says that they are, when he was baking cake, or baking biscuits or whatever, the biscuits did not rise up enough to be to 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 be eaten, but they just stayed there, down there where they were in the squat. Meaning that you somebody hurt you, somebody did something bad to you, and then instead of forgiving yourself and forgiving that person, you don't have to personally go to that person to for, to ask for forgiveness. You can forgive some, somebody in absentia. Isn't that amazing that actually you can forgive somebody in absentia? You forgive the person in absentia, whether they like it or not, and move on and move from that past. If somebody took your money, yes, forgive them. If somebody called your names and, and and said things that were not true about you, lied about you, said things behind your back, you're going to forgive them and move on. You are not going to stay in the squat down there and be stagnant and be depressed and have anxiety because somebody said something bad about you. You have to move. You have to learn from there and move forward from there. So mistakes are there to guide us, to take us to the next level. And if somebody, they are crucifying you because of your past mistakes, tell them, I am not my mistakes. Tell them, I am not my condition. And that brings me to that condition. Love yourself the way you are, in the condition you are. As women, especially, we like putting ourselves down or have to lose weight. I am size 20. I am size 16. I am size 14. I have to be size 8. Until you are that size 8, you're going to love that size 16. You are going to be the best size 16 as you work your way to size 14. You're going to love yourself. And with the calves, with the, without calves, skinny or fat, 
You're just going to love yourself because you were created in God's likeness, in God's image. You know, God loves you the way you are, in that size where you are. Until you become that size you want, you're going to celebrate yourself that size you are. Especially as women, we like putting ourselves down. You feel like you are not, because you're not a model size person. <coughs> because you're not a model size person, you feel like you're not adequate. Love yourself the way you are, at the size you are until you get to that size, the size two, size six, size eight. Because even people with size two, size eight, size 10, they still have issues. You don't know the struggles they are going through. You don't know the condition. Maybe they are anorexic. Maybe they have bulimia and they are struggling. Maybe they are anemic. How do you know? You don't know. Remember, we saw Chadwick Boseman, uh, one of the Black Panthers, uh, uh, you know, star. He died of uh, he died of colon cancer. Everybody was admiring. Everybody was like, you know, we didn't know he was struggling with with colon cancer. So you don't know people's issues. You don't know. Just walk your journey. Run your race. Run it. This you only have this one life to walk. To, learn, to, to run and you run it properly because you are going to be your own, you're going to be the, the one person who's going to walk on this planet. There will never be another duplicate of you. So you be the best version of yourself every day. Imitating other people, copying. I've seen, oh my God, I've seen people copy other people, do this, you want to do this. You cannot be that person. You don't know that person's journey. And sometimes, as Tyler Perry was saying that, sometimes God protects you from some things. And sometimes you're questioning, why me God? Why me God? But you don't know that God is protecting you. I can give a case of my case when I come to USA. I didn't get my papers right away. It took me a long time to get even... My green card, to be exact, took me almost 11 years. But those 11 years I had to stay on status. It forced me to stay on status and staying on status has to go to school. So today I'm a doctor, not because I wanted, because I was forced to stay on status until I got my papers. But somebody will look and say, oh my goodness, how did she do it? She had to do But I was forced. God knew that. If I didn't have to stay, if I, was, I had my status, my status right, maybe I would have never gone to school. Maybe I would have never come, become a doctor. Maybe I would have never been a motivational speaker. So some things happen in your life. If today you are struggling with something, know that that struggle, something good is going to come out of that struggle. You are struggling with addiction. You're struggling with the abusive relationship. You're struggling with kids driving you nuts. You're struggling with something. No, without a doubt, that something good, there is nothing that, there's nothing that nothing good will, will not come out of it. That's one thing I've learned. Anything, anything that happens in your life, there is a lesson, there's something good that is going to come out of it. If you are in that season, Use it. Use it to your advantage. Learn from it. As I said, it took me 11 years to get my green card. But during that time, I was forced, I had to force myself to go to school, do something just towards that. But I'm looking back, looking back at my life, I'm like, yes, Lord, I know why you did that for me. Because you wanted me to be in the position where I am right now so that I can encourage other people so that I can motivate other people so that they can know that their situation, the reason why they're in their situation is because God is wanting them to learn something. I was talking about Tyra Perry. Tyra Perry, he was not accepted in Hollywood. You know, he's a producer. He produces movies, my dear. He was not allowed in Hollywood, but he kept on producing. It took nine years 
for him to even break through. So if you are starting to do something, a business, and it's taking you one year, the business is failing, it's taking you two years. Tyra Perry took him nine years. Steve Harvey, it took him nine years, okay, to be where he is right now. I mean, to, to start earning his money and to start being famous and getting a project. So it is a matter of being patient. So long as you're doing something you love to do, so long as you're learning to do, not, you see, Dr. Pam opening YouTube, you even knew you want to open it. You don't even know what you're doing, but you're just opening YouTube. You see Dr. Pam doing motivation. You just want to do it because do something you love to do. Do something that you just wake up and you do it and you enjoy doing it every single day. That is how you are running your race. Okay love <laughs> i know some of you have been hurt <laughs> i've been hurt too but you cannot stay without being loved love again fall in love again you know what if that was a mistake that happened in your life forgive bury it make a nice funeral about it and move on and love give love a chance because I remember I have a cousin of mine. She lives in Africa. She had a terrible, terrible marriage. Her first marriage was terrible. The man was abusive. I remember one time uh, my cousin was telling me that he even was breaking through the, the door. He wants to beat her and do all sorts of crazy. When she got out of that marriage, you know, I love my cousin. My cousin has been my mentor. She's been, you know, the most person I love. I love listening to her. I used to watch her. And I saw her go through all this. You know, after the marriage, she relaxed and everything. But God brought her a man in her life. I just, last summer, I went to visit them. You know, you, you're in that house, you feel the spirit of God. You feel like, you know, the, 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 just the calm spirit when you are driving to church with them, very calm. And I, I was talking back and forth with my cousin. I was like, oh, wow, this is a big difference from the first person you were with and the person you are with now. So you don't know. You cannot stay in a relationship where you are literally dying you don't even know what is on the other side of the door. You leave somebody stay and block the door instead of letting the person out of the door and letting God bring somebody else from the other door. You have to let God, you have to let God decide for you. You can't decide for God. So, as I said, falling in love madly is, is okay. Falling again. But while you're in the marriage, give, or while you're in a relationship, whatever you're doing, give it your 150%. Don't give it 100, 150. If it's your job, give it 150. If it's a relationship, give it 150. Whatever you're doing, you give it. If the people don't appreciate you, when you finally leave, you will set standards for people to be measured. If it is a, a relationship, you will set standard for the person to come after to be measured. If it's a job, your place of work, you will set standards for people to be measured in that place of work, how their work ethics, their work habits, they, they will be measured by you. So whatever you are doing, Give it your 150% and be grateful. Gratitude. Thank you. Thank you for everything that you have while you're there. Even in a falling relationship, even in a falling, if even your place of work is not good, you still have to be grateful for that. And when you leave, people will know there was somebody who lived in this place. There was somebody who worked in this place. If you leave, somebody will remember. I loved that woman and I, well, I loved that man and I goofed. This is what I get from there. What about laugh? 
laugh, you have to laugh. Because that is the medicine. Jokes. If, if you are the type who have a good sense of humor, laugh, do it. Because when you do it, you get the good endorphins and, 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 and you relax yourself. What about friends? Every one of us has. I know this lady. I'm not going to say her name. And, and I know this lady. And I see she has a lot of money. She has this and that. But she doesn't have friends. You have to have that one or two of that circle of friends you can laugh with, you can enjoy, you can, what is life if you have all this money, but you don't even have friends. And when people come to you, you are always suspicious. Oh my, give people a benefit of the doubt. With time, you will know a true friend. With time, you will know a fake friend. They can't fake forever. So give a people a benefit of the doubt. And also remember, you also have to be that friend that people have to look up to. That people know that that friend, she's got my back anytime. I have a friend of mine here in, 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 in diaspora. She's gone through a lot. I've gone through a lot. I know. I know my friend Seth here in, in Michigan. She has my back. Seth, even her children know that. She, even my children know that. She's got my back. I can go to her house anytime and sleep there and without worrying. Seth will find something that she knows I love. She will bring it. I will do the same. Find something I love or their children love. Our daughters, they are, I'm, I'm their godmother. <laughs> when our daughter, little daughter realized I was our godmother, oh, she, she, she even fell in love with me more. So why am I saying that? Whatever you want in your friend, if you want your friend to be a certain way, why can't you be that way so that your friend will also be that way so that you can have a great friend and she can have a great friend in you. You understand what I'm saying? Meaning that you need yourself to be that good friend, that friend somebody can count on, that friend you say, I'm going to do something and you do it. Trust. Trust. If, if somebody trusts you, they will always trust you. But when you break that trust, it will never be the same. So be somebody, somebody can trust. You know, I've seen people who are liars who can lie. And you know, you know, people are grown up. People are grown ups. They know when you are lying. It takes, and, and, and actually for us women, people take for granted that a woman cannot, especially men, they lie to a woman and they think a woman cannot know. Women are very smart human beings. They know you're lying. And they're just looking at you like a fool. You're lying. Yes, you're lying. But if a woman trusts and they know what you're saying, it's true. And, and they discover that they can trust anything you say and you're honest, whatever you say. Even if you make a mistake, you, you own it. You have, you have a friend in that. So, also, balancing the wheel of life. I've talked about that very many times. There are people, work, 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 work. When you wake up, your family is gone. You've been working, making all millions of money. But when you wake up, you don't have a relationship with your kids. You don't have a relationship with your, your, your spouse. Your spouse is like a, <laughs> a foreigner. Your friends at work, people at work know you. Your spouse doesn't even know you. There are people who... When they are going to their spouse in the house, they are they have a different face. They mean everything. But when they are with your friends, they are somebody else. So if your friend, your spouse, your girlfriend, whatever, if she can't be your best friend, you're wasting time. Your spouse, your friend, your girlfriend is supposed to be your best friend. Because that is somebody you're close with. That's somebody you share, share intimacy with. So... You have to be careful. Whatever you want somebody to do to you, do it. Do it 150 times so that that person, they will do the same to you. And always, always learn to forgive and move on. Never, never stay in the past mistakes. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Pam Obara Mogaka. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and share this video. Share this video because you are special. You are worth it. You, you have to believe in yourself and you have to love, fall in love with yourself madly because you are so worth it. Dr. Pam, thank you.